It looks like soon we will see Tesla begin selling their cars with the new airless tires because Tesla Model 3 is trying out new Goodyear airless tires. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. A new set of airless tires are being tested in Tesla Model 3 vehicles, this time from Goodyear. As we have reported back in September, if you remember our report, Report at the IAA Mobility Car Show in Munich, Germany, French brand Michelin had already presented its new airless tires called Optis. Now Goodyear is testing this area's tires, uh, this uh, airless alternative for electric and autonomous vehicles. According to Mark Kane from Inside EVs, quote, Goodyear is developing airless tires for electric vehicles with an intention for a commercial launch of the first completely sustainable material and maintenance-free tire by 2030. And Tesla Stars has uh, shown from Inside EVs a tweet, uh, which I will have some Im uh, images here for you to see while you're listening to this report, saying, watch Goodyear testing Tesla Model 3 with airless tires. The company has just released an exceptionally interesting video from tests of a Tesla Model 3 equipped with prototype non-pneumatic airless tires. You can check the video uh, on Inside EV's webpage on uh, a link that I will have in the description of this video, friends. And here's a quote that I want to share with you. As part of its commitment to enable mobility now and in the future, Goodyear has extended testing of its non-pneumatic airless tires to high-performance electric vehicles after successfully executing, dura executing durability testing of non non-pneumatic tires at speeds up to 100 miles per hour. Goodyear recently tested the alternative tire architecture at the company's Akron Proving Grounds. Goodyear stated that testing has included maneuverability at speeds up to 55 miles per hour as well as acceleration and deceleration with positive feedback from Goodyear and third-party trained test drives. The advantage of this type of tires, friends, are clear. First, you can never get a flat tire by a puncture or a blowout. French company Michelin says that some 200 million tires a year arrive at the scrapyard early because of them, uh, because of the uh, puncture. Second, you don't have to keep an eye on the tire pressure. That doesn't only save you time, it eliminates all uh, premature wear caused by deflation. Its internal radii are uh, adjustable to meet desired performance characteristics. Its stiffness can be individually adjusted under acceleration, braking, cornering, and fore handling bumps. Pathole handling characteristics can even be adjusted to eliminate the need for an independent suspension on some types of vehicles. Holes can be drilled through the tread to allow water to escape, uh, potentially creating much greater resistance to hydroplaning. It takes less raw material and less energy to make them, which makes them better for the environment and they will eventually last up to three times longer than a conventional tire. There are some disadvantages as well to airless tires if they come to Tesla. Airless tires generally have higher rolling resistance and provide somewhat less suspension than similarly shaped and sized pneumatic tires. Other problems for airless heavy equipment tires include dissipating the heat buildup that occurs when they are driven. Airless tires are often filled with compressed polymers, plastic rather than air or can be a solid method product. M Michael Rachita, Goodyear Senior Program Manager, non-pneumatic tires, also stated, we are excited to progress to this new phase of testing and stretch the imagination on what can be possible with airless tires. We have shown that Goodyear's 
NPTS can uh, uh, achieve highway speed while also maintaining the dynamic handling required for consumer vehicle, which is a meaningful milestone. So what do you think, friends? Will Tesla adopt these Goodyear new tires uh, or Michelin Uptis tires for the Model 3, Model Y, and eventually the Cybertruck? So what are your thoughts? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Actually, I was looking in Quora. There was a fresh question from yesterday saying, asking, when will Tesla begin selling their cars with the new airless tires? And a user named Bill McDonald re uh, responds, and says those airless tires have been shown off by Goodyear every few years for the last three decades. It seems to be a thing they trot out as a publicity stunt when they need to up their profile a bit. They are clearly still unsolved unsolved problems with them in real world application because Goodyear has had these prototypes for 30 years and never produ uh, productized them. So let me know friends, do you think uh, Goodyear will soon uh, have Tesla uh, special tires for Tesla? This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you and let's like this video if you found the information helpful and let's move on to the next Tesla story. Tesla has launched a retrofit program for autopilot cameras on older vehicles with the full self-driving package. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you are here first time. Starting with the introduction of its Autopilot 2.0 suite of sensors in 2016, Tesla started selling all of its cars with the promise that they have all the hardware necessary to achieve full self-driving capability with future software updates. This promise has helped Tesla to sell vehicles, but it turned out to be inaccurate, notes Electric in today's coverage. Electric says the automaker had to update its autopilot hardware several times, including with a new computer that Tesla included as a retrofit for autopilot 2.0 owners who bought the full self-driving package. Over the years, there have been rumors that Tesla would need to upgrade more than the computer to achieve self-driving capability. Those rumors have ramped recently since no autopilot 2.0 owners with the new full self-driving computer reported getting the full self-driving beta despite achieving a 100 on 100 safety scores in the app, which is Tesla's requirement to get the new software. Electric reports that last month, Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed that Autopilot 2.0 vehicles are going to need camera upgrades, which those who ordered the FSD package will get for free. Today, Tesla launched its retrofit program through an in-app message to eligible owners. Here's what that message says, I quote, as an owner with full self-driving capability and early production cameras, your VIN, the, the VI, uh, VIN number is there, you are eligible for complimentary autopilot camera upgrade. Camera replacements are required to access a continuously expanding suite of full self-driving capability features. To arrange your complimentary camera replacements, schedule a new appointment from the service menu in your Tesla app, select schedule service, upgrades and accessories, autopilot, camera. Friends, Electric says it is unclear how many vehicles are eligible for the retrofit, but it is expected to put a strain on Tesla services team for the next few weeks because those people who have great scores and fit this uh, uh, fit this requirement or fit this category, they will need to do this to get a free complimentary camera update so they can use uh, the full self-driving capability. But the good news is that this adds another value to used Tesla vehicles. So a vehicle bought before 2016 still is an appreciating asset because you get 
complimentary free camera and full self-driving well let me know your thoughts are you in have any one of you if you are a tesla owner received this package what is the message says what are your plans how are you going to do it have you contacted the tesla service and when is your appointment let us know in the comment section below whenever you hear this message please it will be interesting to read your thoughts and opinions this is armin Haryam from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla and electric vehicle news updates we'll continue the discussion in the comment section below give us thumbs up for this report please if you like it and uh, god bless you peace be with all of you and let's move on to our next tesla story